guys and welcome back to another raid shell legends video with me the real deal so it's two times agents uh we got 390 shards to pull but i'm not gonna pull them all we'll hold on to about 150 just in case there's another guaranteed champion um around the corner like candrafon or lady kimmy definitely worth holding on to if you can if you've got the shards um i did actually have to skip a two times to get that many shards so it might be worth it for you guys to do that as well but just before we start pulling shards, I just want to say two things. Um, one, um, I've managed to hit 350 subs on my channel, so big thank you to you guys. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. It helps my channel grow. I'm hoping that I can enroll into the content creator program so I can do giveaways like, you know, like 5,000 gems. Um, maybe they'll even let me give away like a Prince Kaimar or even a Plurium employee. So whatever I can get my hands on, I will give it away. So yeah, please do sub. Um, and then the other thing is, I was looking at um, my bracket for Champion Chase, and I'm going to struggle. There's definitely some strong contenders in here. I might just be able to get in the top 10, but I'm not going to go hard for it. There's no point. Um, as long as I get my Legendaries books, I'm happy. Um, but just one other thing as well, Global Leader, if we just uh, scroll down. Who's this in number three? P1, Precise1. He's actually from my clan. Um, he just was like, yeah, I just bought loads of shards and stuff. And he probably had to take out a second mortgage to get this. But, whoa. Um, but yeah, good luck to you, P1. I hope, I hope you get what you're after. Might even finish first place. Who knows? Who knows? All right. So, without further ado, let's start pulling some shards. Woo. Okay. This guy, I've pulled him a few times now. I've, I have no idea if he's any good or not. Let's just quickly check him out. So he increases crit damage for all allies. Does perfect veil. Just looks sort of mediocre to me, to be honest. Nothing too special. Might be good like mid early. Okay, rare tax, rare tax. God, nothing so far. Is is two times even? Oh my God! Here we go. Oh my God, that's my third seal of the Drakes. I mean, she's a great champion. I love her to bits, but uh, yeah, she's not what we're looking for. Move on, move on. Wow. I mean, I was that's only thirteen to my mercy though, so that's pretty good. Um, going. So let's keep going. I want, I want something else. That's not good enough. Um, Sand Slash Survivor is one of my favorite champions in the game. Um, great for clan boss. Great for arena. Um, you can use her for like an arena defense team. Um, and there's loads of other content you can use her for. But yeah, she is a solid, solid champion. Okay, nothing else at the moment too spicy. Let's keep rolling. I cannot believe we've pulled another Seal of the Drake. I just want to cry. I just, I don't need three of her. Um, I probably will just hold on to her. She'll go in the vault and hopefully build up my faction guardian. Uh, when you're free to play, it is so hard to do. Um, yeah, it's just not the same. Uh, Muslim Mage, great champion. Um, you don't need, he, I, he can fill loads of roles and stuff, but pairs up really nicely with Seer because he throws out like three buffs. Um, but yeah, great champion. Like you can use him to clear waves really fast with Seer. But um, without Seer as well, he does throw out loads of buffs. So he's a solid, solid champion. Mm, start a champion, Elhane. She's actually pretty solid. Um, I actually still use her for like secret rooms. Um, yeah, great champion. She can actually solo farm Minotaur uh, end game if you put like loads of gear on her. All right, let's keep going. Oh, nothing so far. Uh, Rocktooth, shout out to this OG. Um, if you need to farm a uh, spirit room, a uh, spirit room, um, farm spirit potion or spirit keep. Um, oh, Geo, yeah, he's your guy. He like puts a block healing on the boss. It makes it a lot easier. For Another Geomancer. It's taken me so long to get this guy. Um, it's just great in all content. Great for Hydra. Great for Iron Twins. Um, and just like great for clan boss as well. Um, and to be fair, like any sort of Doom Tower boss, you can use him as well. 
Allure. Um, such a strange champion because she doesn't really do any damage. But it's all about her A1. She can just lock out bosses with her decreased turn meter like Fire Knight. Um, she's just a great champion. And actually Dark Fae as well. Um, yeah, just such a solid champion. If you do pull her, definitely worth investing in. So we are, well, we need to make some space. I'll be back in a mo. And we're back, baby. So I'm going to pull about 120 more. So let's go. Let's see what we get. Um, I mean, if there's any dupe champions I'd really want to pull, um, Brogni would be one of them. Just like such an amazing champion. Would love to build him out for arena, like in a bolster set. So good for like arena defense. Um, you know, with his passive where he can reflect um damage that the enemy does to you i mean i've come across it loads of times in the arena and it's so frustrating because it can just blow up your new car and you just do nothing um other one would be python uh, build one for hydra one for arena um just like such an amazing champion but yeah let's uh let's get, keep our fingers crossed and see if we can get another legendary um spider is an amazing champion i think really underrated um I think I'm trying to remember. I've not used him for so long, but I think he does decrease defense and weaken a bit like Madame. Um, but he doesn't strip, but such an amazing champion. Like he will carry you in um, dungeons and just like help speed up your runs and just help your damage dealers do more damage. Just so good. So good. Mordecai, great for um, HP burn on Spider. Um, also useful in Hydra as well. Another Hydra champion. But yeah, seen a lot of blue today. A lot of blue. Come on. Can we get something a little bit tasty? Not good. It's not looking good, guys. It is not looking good. But come on. One more Lego. One more. Ooh. She's new. Or he. Uh, is it... Oh, he, he's new. Kilian the Sheik. Um, yeah, I've not pulled him. He's got one of those, you know, when you go swimming and you need like a little, uh, I don't know what it's called, like a nose band to help you breathe underwater and stuff or stop stop getting more in your nose. Uh, yeah, let's see. What's his kit? Attack to enemy. Damage increased by 5% for each debuff on the target. Okay. Um, attacks one enemy two times. And the first hit has a 75% chance of decreasing targets to turn meter. Okay, by 50%. Oh, that's quite big. Um, and the second hit has a 75% chance of placing uh, decreased speed. Also, they love this. Plarium are doing this for like every champion now that they per place a perfect veil on themselves. Doing it all the time now. Uh, and attacks one enemy and has 30% chance of placing weaken for two turns. Passive will ignore shield buff. Ah, oh, if attacking under a perfect veil buff. Looks pretty solid. Looks pretty decent. Like, I wouldn't say, like, amazing or anything, but pretty solid. Pretty good. I mean, when Faction Wars comes out, um, I'll definitely be... Here we go, here we go. Oh. King Garog. All right. I know this guy is trash. He's meant to be trash. Um, personally, uh, I don't know too much about him, but, yeah, I know he's not great. I don't think there's much content you can really use him for. Um, let's see. Attacks of enemies will ignore 20% of each target's defense. Will ignore a further 5% for each debuff on the target. Okay, it's okay. Bit of setup required for that. Um, attacks one enemy four times each critical hit has 50% chance of decreasing the cooldown of Gore Makers. Oh, Gore Maker, okay, by one turn. Okay. And then attacks one enemy two times has 35% chance of placing stun debuff. The chance will be increased to 50% chance, uh, sorry, 50% if the target's turn meter is equal to or below 50%. That's very weird. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound, sound great. Um, also, increases this champion's speed by 6% and crit damage by 7% for each enemy this champion kills in a round. Okay. Can stack up to 30 and 35%. Stacks will reset if this champion is killed. Whenever an enemy champion is revived, fills this champion's turn meter by 30% and uh, revived, then places increased attack. Okay, that's such a weird passive. Um, yeah, he doesn't, doesn't, yeah, he doesn't strike me as amazing. Um, you know, I'm going to call it a day. I don't want to pull any more. I'm not feeling any more luck. 
um yeah but good luck to you guys out there i hope you get something that you're really after uh, i've been the real deal thank you so much for watching please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll see you in my next video peace